Uh, hello, my name is Matthew, and I recently read A Confederacy of Dunces by John Kennedy Toole, um, winner of the Pulitzer Prize. I don't really understand why, uh, but I, I really enjoyed uh, reading this book. It's the second time that I've read it. Uh, the first time I felt like it was uh, kind of superficially zany, uh, big, big characters, everything is outlandish. Uh, it has that feeling of gonzo writing. Uh, characters don't uh, speak, they shout. Uh, if something falls on the floor, it doesn't just fall, it crashes. Um, everything are big, big swings. And our main character, uh, Ignatius Riley, is a big swing. He's described as this giant, this gargantuan uh, man who is uh, um, slovenly garbed, wearing strange clothing, has a hunter's cap where the flaps um, stick out, he bellows, he's, um, when we first meet him, he's middle, not middle-aged, uh, he's already in his 30s, living with his mother, unemployed, um, spends his afternoons watching television. Uh, he seems um, like a baby, like a, a lazy man baby, uh, and full of opinions. He has uh, thoughts and objections about ev everything. And the, the rereading it, what I found um, so fascinating was the, 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 the way that the book uh, structured events so they build on top of one another um, as Ignatius Riley uh, gets into these um, wacky situations he's affecting other people's lives and we have these through lines where more and more characters um, show up and has this uh, uh, tumbling domino effect and um, what's so impressive by that structure is when we're following another character, in the background, um, we'll see the effects of what Ignatius Riley has been doing. There'll be spottings of him. The characters will be talking about this giant man who caused a scene in the movie theater. Uh, we see how uh, Ignatius's uh, behavior and lifestyle um, has been affecting his mother. Uh, at the beginning of the book, um, they're in some sort of, it's his mother and Ignatius, they're in the shopping center, and we get just this fantastic opening set piece, and it begins with Ignatius just waiting for his mom to come out of the store. And a police officer comes out and feels like uh, this strange giant man uh, who's kind of loitering is a, is a suspicious character. And when the police officer approaches uh, Ignatius, Ignatius immediately creates a scene and he's uh, disrespectful to the police officer and he's yelling and shouting and uh, escalating the situation. A crowd forms. Um, now uh, there's people in the crowd yelling at the police officer. Other people are yelling at other people not to yell at the police officer. Um, Ignatius is just stirring this up. And the mother comes out and says, what's going on here? And um, starts um, remonstrating uh, the police officer. Well, one of the people in the crowd got himself uh, overly worked up and has an altercation with the police officer. That person, the the, the bystander, uh, who will follow later, that person ends up getting arrested, and uh, the mother and Ignatius skedaddle out of the scene. Uh, <laughs> they get they they, uh, they they end up ducking into this bar, and what see what starts off is um, they're going to have a drink. Uh, I think it was a brandy and beer. Um, 
they basically just get drunk in the bar and create another scene in the bar and they come stumbling out of the bar <laughs> um the mother gets into the car ignatius is in the back seat uh, and they like immediately drive into someone's porch and like wreck their domicile um this whole scene has all of these different threads um little details that start um, uh, spinning out uh, how they uh, initially start interacting with these characters um, the police officer uh, this is the character that the police officer um, arrested um, when they're in the prison um, the arrested person uh, is talking to another person that has been arrested um, we learn about the, this bar, the, the bar owner and the barkeeper, um, and then a, a woman who's there to, to kind of drum up uh, drinks. It's also a dancing establishment. Um, and then ultimately uh, wrecking this uh, porch. And they, uh, the mother takes ownership of this and This whole scene then sets off a, a, a loose premise for the rest of the book, which is going to be a series, um, one aspect of the book, because there's many, many characters and stories going on. But just following Ignatius, um, he has to start getting a job. He has to start uh, looking for a job, and uh, ultimately um, he'll have a series of odd jobs. Uh, to comedic effect. Uh, there's a, a, a factory which he uh, uh, unsuccessfully <laughs> try to drum up uh, a revolt from the factory workers in the, in the, the office building. Uh, and re really what is impressive is when, when these new characters start coming into the book, um, the person that's running uh, this little factory office and the little old uh, lady that comes into the office and uh, the owner of the whole company that periodically comes comes to the office and um, the wife of the owner of the company they all have uh, such um, distinctive characterizations they're unique and memorable um, to, to kind of stay in this uh, office um, <laughs> there was one thing, so they're, they're trying to hire, um, this file clerk. They, they need someone that's just going to do the filing and everyone that they're, everyone that they've gotten has either abandoned the job or, um, had just quit or had to be fired because they're, they're not doing the job correctly. Um, Ignatius walks in and... Not not only is just, is he like a bull in a china shop where he wants to turn the whole place upside down. Uh, there's one detail that uh, I, I just floored me, and what was brilliant about the way that it's constructed is, at least initially, um, it goes under the radar, and it's it's his filing duties. So he's working there for a while and. Um, the, the head person in the office, I can't remember his name, is really impressed with um, uh, Ignatius's uh, efficiency in getting the filing done. Uh, never mind all the other crazy things that are happening. Um, it just mentioned um, how the, the place is organized, all the files are put away, um, and uh, what's so killer about that is uh, we, we just will have these scenes where at the end of his workday, uh, Ignatius will have a big pile of files that he just throws in the trash. And so instead of doing any work at all, instead he just takes everything and throws it away. The, the boss in this uh, office building isn't checking up to see if the files are actually filed. He just sees that all the file cabinets are closed and there's nothing left out. It's hilarious. Um, after that, he gets a job at a hot dog, uh, as a hot dog vendor. Uh, 
he's eating he just starts eating all the hot dogs um some of the some of the scenes work better than others as far as these comic set pieces but the the kind of the, these spirals of interconnected stories and how well um like if you the, the different characters that you can follow um how much you enjoy spending time with them and as a result you really get a feeling of um some, sometimes in books when you have multiple storylines you you want to get back um uh, to the big one and in this one uh ignatius is such a huge uh character you might think i don't want to bother with these other stories but um it's so well done that every time you're away from ignatius um you're enjoying yourself and then you get back to ignatius the star of the show and it's still fantastic so uh, i really enjoyed uh, reading this confederacy of dunces um john kennedy tool um let me know if you've read it let me know uh, if you have any thoughts about the book and um, thank you for watching and uh, take care um, and leave a comment if you would like. Thank you.